Good morning. Welcome to the, or good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Welcome to the Handmaidens. Today we got a super duper, unbelievable, never done before show for you today. We think, if we're lucky, if all works out, we're going to have every Handmaiden all together. Whoa! And you know why? Because it's Good Friday. And it's a really good Friday! It's the best Friday ever! And today, we're going to have a show that's going to teach you how to color your Easter eggs using all natural ingredients. But before we do get to that, the first thing we have to do is boil the eggs. Okay, so boiling eggs. Mercury said to me, boiling eggs. People don't know how to boil an egg. Um, actually, it's very controversial. You see, the one thing my very, very family has in common is most of them hate my boiled eggs. So I vowed to do better. I did the research. I found out. The problem is I like to boil eggs the way my mom used to boil eggs and make them nice and dark green yolks. Come to find out, people don't like that necessarily. They like a nice yellow oak. My nana used to do a three-minute egg and a six-minute egg for soft-boiled and hard-boiled. Six minutes is not enough. The proper time is a 14-minute egg. If you're going to want it to peel easy, you're going to add a little bit of salt in a pan of water. And you're going to add some vinegar. Now, I did the research, and I find out that people like to boil the water first and then put in the egg. Oh, heck no. I'm not putting my fingers in the way I am. Sorry for this noise. I'm going to put them in the cold water. When it boils, I'll set the timer for 14 minutes. Then I'll quickly run to the sink, run them under cold water. First they boil, they're cooked, 14 minutes, and I'm going to rinse them. So when we do get to the eating part, which I love a hard-boiled egg, I love a deviled egg too, um, then they'll peel nice and easy. But we got a little vinegar in here. We're going to need this later as we're cooking up our all-natural colors, okay? We'll see you then. Happy Good Friday, everyone. It's me, Stephen, and my wonderful siblings and son here at the Handmaiden's uh, mothership. We are in mom's backyard and we are about to make some Easter egg dye. Why make Easter egg dye? Well, Laura, explain it. Mom said we had to. <laughs> Alisa? <laughs> well, because it's an all natural way and a fun activity for the children and a sustainable way of celebrating the holiday. There we go. Excellent. Janelle? Janelle's hungry. What do we have? <laughs> what do we got here? Yeah. Um, we have spinach and strawberries and fruit. There's lots of teas. We have uh, all the different vegetables and herbs and and we'll all make different colors to dye the eggs with teas. And what do we have here? Beets. We have beets. Beets. Um, fresh things, preserved things. We have coffee all different colors all different all natural ways and a recipe to create all of this and turn it into a dye cool. that's right and your favorite duo merc and mondo are here you know it's been a little while since we've uh partnered up on the big screen but we're here at last and we actually can't wait to get started on this one so I don't know. the recipe okay so we are with our many variety of uh, vegetables, fruits, teas, we are going to add one quarter cup of water. This is for each batch. Raven's filling me up with a half a cup because we're doubling the recipe, that's good. And we're putting it in, we have some in the onion, the red onion. We're gonna put some in with some Onion skins. Onion skins. Thank you, Stevie. Um, we have so much stuff here. Do we have this many eggs? Oh, Mark and Mondo are going to eat it all, so we're good. Okay, another half cup. What's, what are you doing over here, Stephen? Uh, we have some red cabbage here. All right. Now, these are all things that you will find in your refrigerator and pantry. Much like everything else that we do, everything is uh, it's sustainable. It's, it's easy to, to find and to locate and to afford because none of us are made of money. 
egg dye isn't a lot, but sometimes people just can't budget for it. But you can budget for leftover cabbage. You want pink eggs, you can have them. You want red eggs, you want any eggs, you can have them with just the stuff that's left over in your refrigerator. With a little bit of water, a little bit of vinegar and salt, you've got it. Okay, so you've added your water at this point, hopefully. Or, or maybe you haven't, and that's fine too. Um, if you've added a quart of water, as we've done so far, uh, you can add one tablespoon of salt and two tablespoons of vinegar to your solution. Um, and what this do will be something that I'm not able to answer. And hopefully one of the other handmaidens has some, uh, has some knowledge on this part. Uh, but salt and vinegar, they taste great on potato crisps, as you all know. <laughs> Everyone's had salt and vinegar yes. chips. Lay's chips are just, they're amazing. Um, but uh, for coloring eggs, salt and vinegar, uh, it's a necessary set of ingredients. Um, so the uh, so the salt and the vinegar. Oh, oh, big brother knows. The salt adds as an abrasive for the egg to kind of rough up the surface, much like if you're sanding a piece of wood to apply paint and primer. And the vinegar actually breaks down the uh, calcium compounds of the eggs. So we've got we've got the eggs getting broken down both physically and chemically. The salt breaks it down physically, and the vinegar breaks it down chemically, so that way it's able to absorb the colors. Amen. So Much like go. some of us. Some of us are breaking down physically and chemically, too. <laughs> okay, so we have our pots filled. Here we have some coffee, some turmeric, blueberries, cabbage, parsley. This is dried parsley. This is hibiscus tea. We have a can of beets. Did we add vinegar and salt to this or yes. are we just running yes. it? Okay, we've got vinegar and salt this one too. We got beets. We've got raspberries. We have carrots and we have spinach. And now we have to move, oh no, we have more. We have onion peels and onion peels, yellow and red. We have to move this party to mom's little burn pits because we're trying to save the world and save mom's, you know, utility bill. So we are going to move this party. Where? And the kids, come on, kids, what did you think was gonna be the best one, Ella? What did you think was gonna make the most color? Coffee. Coffee, Ella thinks coffee's gonna do the best. Alexa? What about you, Alexa? Uh, mm. Not sure? What about you, Gabriel? Do you have an idea? Coffee. Coffee. You think coffee, coffee too? Coffee. What about you, Aiden? Coffee. coffee? Okay. <laughs> Aunt Laura's vote is yeah. for the beets. I think the, the beets, beets are going to do it. You think the beets also? Yeah. Nope. Uh, nope. Yeah. The beets have stained my table. Uh, yeah. The beets mm -hmm. have stained your table. I know. The beets stained my hands. Turmeric, though. I usually have a yellow yeah. face from that. That could do it. Turmeric is already working. Is it on me? Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> I think it's on your face. Oh, yeah. See? <laughs> At home, I always look like this too. I did the turmeric. Oh. I'm yellow. I'm a Simpson. <clears throat> How long are we gonna put this on for, Steven? We are gonna put this on for one half hour and then we're going to check it out and make sure everything is uh, all copacetic. <laughs> Got a beautiful circle here. Oh, it's not Using, level uh, like a circle. It looks sustainable. Like Sustainable heat, wood, perfect fuel for an outdoor fire. Yeah, that's really oh, that Look, Bassy. Yeah, that one is. Tasty. This is all here. We're gonna make special dye. Not like the way we do it at home. This is a new way that we're trying out. To see if we can make Mother Earth happy. Okay, Mondo, try not to yeah, burst into flames. That's such a gold.
there, yeah, you're safe. I always thought it was so funny. The people who say. Just like a hangnail. Okay. Yeah. I also think that you should talk about your successes and your failures. Now that we have all of the dyes made, we've got some of the handmaiden kids. We've got Basil, Gabriel, Dorothy. Rafaela, Israel, Ella, Alexa, and Aiden. And they are going to take some eggs, white eggs, because they take the dye the best, and they're going to make them into beautiful Easter eggs. That's absolutely nothing. That's absolutely nothing. This is nothing. This is Gabriel? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it did. It's me. It says I hate the color. Bears I don't know why. Oh, yours is a pale one. That flower thing. I don't know. Ella! Making a flower. You're bad. Hey, look at I'm making a flower. What kind of flower? Ella! It's ready! Nobody's under there. It's not? Ella! It's not? 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 All of mine are coffee. I put one in here, it's not working. I need coffee yeah. eggs in that. Yeah, I'm not taking that. Yeah, I put one in here, it didn't work. Yeah, I feel like this one is working. I just used it. No, look at that. Are you kidding? Okay, the coffee is working. Also, look at it. 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 Oh, this one, the coffee and that. Uh, but this one is not working. Why did I wear a white shirt? Why did I, wear a, shirt? I wear a white shirt? I don't like the white. Okay, sweetie, I'll clean it. I'll make some homemade. Okay, so here we are at the end of our experiment today. We got some kids, some grandkids, and I am so excited because they have made Abuela the happiest woman in the world because these are some of the most beautiful, high-end looking, super classy Easter eggs I've ever seen in my life. Let's uh, so let's talk about the experiment. What have we learned? We have learned that canned beets don't work. Mm -hmm. The canning process stole all of the natural colors that beets have. If you ever roast a beet, you will be stained forever. So go natural. <coughs> try, to, try to go natural. Natural uh, beets. Don't break the bank though. Right, this is right. about using things that you have readily available. So to we you. grow beets. You can grow your beets. Grow for your beets. Pennies a seed and a fraction of a penny seed, and you can make gorgeous, gorgeous eggs. Good, good. What did you say, Israel? Blueberries? 
Yeah, they make really good dye. They make good dye, so we should grow That's blueberries for good dye. Blueberries yeah. the best. Blueberries the best. Let's see what yeah. it looks like. It looks like so what do we think? None of them are oh. Cheese. This is yeah, earth blueberry. shattering. That's blueberry? Yeah, no, oh. this is the blueberry. Oh, this is the blueberry. Okay. Okay. Blueberry. okay. What else didn't Somebody work? Else made a purple oh, um, the the tea. The tea. The hibiscus tea did not. Right. Work. So I think and if we had real hibiscus, one. real hibiscus, I think having more raw. Oh, onion peels. Ingredients. Yeah, this, onion peels. Yellow onion peel. Um, one of the kids was real clever. Said, "Oh, I made a beautiful white egg." Right. So. <laughs> I think I think you know what we did. Because I only used one onion or two onions in the salad, yeah. I think we didn't have enough onion yes, peels. We must do that. I think if you put stored them like I should have from the last time I was cooking yep. and kept onion peels, we could make a good batch of dye. I'm going to make That's some my fault. Because Janelle and I came around and rewarded some of them that were running out. I'm yep. going to say Don't. the half cup isn't even enough. You need to start with more because I think we've boiled out a lot. Mm -hmm. And when we added water, maybe we didn't give it enough time to work its way in. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know. But some of them really came out great. Maybe it is just the material. Um, it's fantastic. I it's think so pretty. also um, you should do this with a big family. This mm -hmm. is a fun opportunity for people to get together mm -hmm. prior to the Easter holiday and spend some time outside. Uh-huh. And together. Alisa, what do you want to say? Well, it's also not only for Easter eggs. This is also something you can do to dye fabrics and wool and all sorts of great things. So get really creative and grow your food coloring. That's yeah. great. Dorothy, you have anything to say? Did No, yeah. did you enjoy doing this? Yeah. yeah. Is it fun? Yeah. Do you think it's do you think that maybe it's safer or better for us than the stuff you could buy in the store? Yeah. Right, because we did it we did it all natural. If you can eat it, right, for food, then definitely it's not gonna hurt having it on our eggs. Right? Unless so, it's McDonald's. Right. <laughs> let's not, McDonald's let's not call her a Big Mac all egg. Big Mac. That's right. But maybe in my coffee eggs. Now How are they? Coffee. All right. The coffee eggs are here, Mom. The coffee eggs are there. All right, they're not. Some of them take. No, these might be coffee eggs. You know what? Oh, yeah, that's different. Are these you know what I did? Else? I used instant coffee. This so probably coffee. the real. If I used my real coffee, I just wasn't willing to Drying, share. <laughs> that's beans. right. Some beans. I've got plenty of coffee that. beans. Okay. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thanks for playing along. Hope you try. Food. Let us know if you like it. Bye. Show us some pictures, show us some eggs. Food. Click the like and ah. subscribe. Yeah. And actually subscribe. watch it. Bye bye. And comment below. Okay? All right. Bye bye. Bye, bye bunny.